going on, YouTube family? Listen, I know that many of you are probably a part of a number of different forest groups or communities online, right? And you're probably on YouTube subscribed to dozens of YouTube channels. My question is this. Are you still losing in the forest market? And have you tried the Soda Music Forest University? If you haven't, come on, follow me. All right, so just as you guys may already know, my name is Yusuf Scott. I'm the guy behind the Soda Nisi Forest University, also better known as the Forest Going Online. In fact, if you're still looking for forest training, go and visit www.sodanisiforest.com. And if you're wondering why they consider me the Forest Gold, go and visit theforestgold.com. Now, just as I tell you guys in all my videos, I'm very grateful and thankful to have you guys still watching yet another video of mine. If you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Click on that subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you also follow us on social media because we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Now, just as I told you guys on social media this morning, I was gonna be creating a video where I'm gonna be breaking down a favorite pair of mine. One of my favorite pairs, I'm gonna make sure that you guys have a thorough comprehension of why the market is where it is today, how the market arrived at this place where it is today, where I'm expecting the market to go. I told you guys I'm gonna provide you all with a free trade alert. And then of course, you guys gonna pick up some jewels along the way that's gonna help you realize how to think about the market and process the market for your trading in the future. Let's head to the chart. Okay, so for starters, we're on the Eurozar daily chart, all right? Now, I want you guys to pay attention to the bottom of the screen. The bottom of the screen, it says, Everything starts at structure, okay? Now, if you all remember, there was a video that I put out um, some time ago, and it was titled, um, Support and Resistance is King. Now, I don't know if you guys watched that video, but you all need to watch this video. It was, it was put out, I know it was put out last month sometime, so go back and watch the video, and you'll know why support and resistance is king. And you'll also know why I have this on the screen for you all, and it's everything starts at structure. Now, structure is always support and resistance, okay? Um, you know, you have support, and um, you know, when a market goes up, it goes up to a resistance level, okay? Um, when a market hits resistance, if it goes through resistance, that what was used to be resistance is now support, just like in a building. You're on your first floor, you go upstairs to the next level was once your ceiling is now floor for the higher level, and that's the way the market is. So with that simple logic, let's look at the chart. All right, so if you look at the double white level towards the left-hand portion of the screen, you will see, if you go back to 2015 and 16, that the market had been there before. It came back here in 2018. Both times the market bounced hard, okay? Now, if you look towards the middle of the screen, in this area right here, you will see that the market gapped up. Now, the reason why this is such a significant level is because the market had gapped up during COVID, okay? This is the level to watch. March of this year, when COVID first broke out and the markets, they all tanked or they all shot up, the market gapped up here. And then it went up to the purple, the double purple level, if you see towards the top of the screen. Danced around, pulled back. And it pulled all the way back to my rising support trend level. Also, where my green or lime green horizontal level is. And then it pushed back up, continued making lower highs, and then the market went back down. When the market went back down, it failed to go back to that lime level. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we consider to be a higher low, which would indicate the market going back up. 
okay? Because it did not go down to the same level, nor did it go lower than that lime green level. The market goes up. It went all the way back up to what should have been expected, the double purple level. And what did it do? It eventually went back down. And as you see, it went all the way back down to the aqua rising support level the same level now we have three taps three instances where the market has bounced up this level now we're sure that this market is a good level now from there the market went back up not going back to the double purple zone as i would call it it stopped and went back down if as you guys can see it went back down to the aqua rising support again and then it sort of went sideways and that's when it broke through that aqua level and finally drove itself back down, heading towards the lime green level. But where did it go? The market kept going until it hit off the same double white level where the market was when COVID first happened. Okay? And as I teach my students, those are key levels. And the market has been here for some time now, dancing around. Now, let's break down this level. So if you guys notice, when the market hit off this same white or double white level, the market pushed back up. And where did it push back up to? It pushed back up to the same lime green level, all right? And ladies and gentlemen, if you go all the way left to where the aqua level is, the rising support level in the, in the lime green level is, where it is touched, that's where a wick was on June 10th of this year. So for those who were in on this trade, you should have known the market was going to go or it can go there and probably having issues. It, hit, it actually went up to that same level and it pushed back. Now at the tail end of this past week, the market was coming off of that same double white level and this is why we're watching this market and expecting this market to go up. So here's the deal. And this is where the trade alert is. If this market, well let's say this market goes up, it's going up. We know it's heading towards the green, the lime green level. There's a chance that it can stop there. It can have issues and go back down, or it can continue going up. This is why the perfect entry strategy and the stay in your trade strategy is so important. As I teach my students, the stay in your trade strategy will tell you if the market is going to stop there or if the market is going to continue. This is why it's so crucial that you all get connected because you have a trade alert right here in front of you. But there is no guarantee that the market is going to stop there or if it's going to bust through that level and continue going. Now, I will say this. If this market busts through this lime green level, it should be headed to the aqua level at some point. But something that we have to watch are other pivotal levels that were created and realized on our way down to this level. Okay? Very crucial. This is a very crucial thing. You have to know this. But the key still is, how do you know when to get out? Okay? You have to learn the stand and trade strategy. You have to know that strategy to determine if the market is going to continue going or if it's going to go back down. All right. There's a chance that the market may break that level. One of the mistakes that traders they make is they get in too late. If it's too late for you to get in on this trade here then the, the, the next best place to get in is if the market breaks above this lime green level and pulls back to the lime green level. But you still have to know when to get in. Getting in just because it pulled back to the level doesn't guarantee that you're going to win the trade. 
You have to know exactly when to get in. And this is what I teach my students. Now, where the market goes from there, that's to be determined. It could continue going above, hit off the aqua level, it could bust through that level. Okay? Now, if this market chooses not to break through this lime green level and goes back down, then obviously the target would be the double white level. The same gap that took place during COVID. All right? So this is very simple. This is very simple. And this is how I train my students. It's a very simple methodology, very simple way of trading. I'm giving you guys structural insight. Okay, because everything starts at structure. All right, if the market is already moving, you're not to get in. This is why people, they lose. All right, you be taught the proper discipline. Don't just get in because someone's telling you to over leverage your account. You can make your money back and trade heavy and that's baloney. Do not get in unless you're at a structural level. That's the only, only way you're gonna ever build a building. If there's a structure, if there's some type of structure, sound structure or foundation, otherwise you have a problem. What was once a structure where people once resided, it will collapse, okay? This is why markets run to levels and then pull back because there's a structural element there, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this made sense to you all. As I tell you guys in all my videos, have nothing short of a fantastic day. Remember, as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay prayed up during these times. All right? Peace, everyone.